Hello, everyone. My name is Joe D'Agostino. I work at Freeport High School in Freeport, New York. And I wanted to set up Google breakout rooms on my computer. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing you have to do is you have to get the extension. So go to Google search engine, type, it, type in breakout groups or breakout rooms in Google Meet. You have to add the extension, add to Chrome. It goes in the puzzle piece. If you want to pin it, you can pin it. So it'll show up with the rest of them. Now you have to set up your classes. So you click on it, you get this. Now the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to courses. So you gotta set up your, your classes. So the green will add your classes. So I'm gonna add my classes. Algebra two honors, but I'll put, uh, I like to put period, period first. So period one, algebra two honors, period eight, algebra two honors, period nine, algebra two honors, period five, AP statistics. <laughs> And period six, business math elite. Because I do have the best business math class at Freeport High School, so I'm gonna call it the elite business math class. Hit save. So now you have your classes set up. Now it's time to make your rooms. So you go to rooms and Click the course you want. We'll start with period one. So you have to do that for each course. It takes a little time to set up, but it's not a big deal. Once you get the hang of it, it's uh, you're good to go. Now I will I will tell you, if you set it up on one computer, you have to set it up on every computer that you work on. So if you work on two computers in a building because you're in two different classrooms, you got to set up on both. And then you got to set it up on your home computer if you want to do some some um, teaching at home, or if you want to use your Chromebook to do some teaching, then you got to set it up on your Chromebook. So every, that's the one thing that I noticed, it's kind of a pain. You have to set up on every computer that you work on. So I'm actually setting it up on my home computer because I'm going to do a, a lesson uh, with one of my classes at home and I need to have it set up on my home. So I decided to make the video because a lot of people are wanting to do this. And for me, it took a little bit to understand, so I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for you. Now, period one, algebra two honors. Now, this is your main lobby. So you're actually gonna go to your, your, um, your class, your period one class, or whatever class it is. You're going to do a right click on that, copy link address, go back to your breakout room, and that you're gonna paste that as your main lobby. Hit save. Okay. Now I'm going to add breakout rooms. Now they want you to only really use four breakout rooms because it's going to open five tabs with the main. So I would just simply use uh, just four breakout rooms. Now I'm going to call my breakout rooms famous mathematicians. So the Fibonacci um, breakout room. One, Pythagoras would be would be my second my second room. Pascal, I like Pascal's triangle. Is my third, and my fourth is Archimedes. And I do tell this story to my students <clears throat> when I my wife was pregnant. We thought we were probably having twins because it runs in our family. And if we had twin boys, identical twin boys, I had naming rights. And they were going to be named Fibonacci and Archimedes. True story. She gave me naming rights. 
turned out no twins and it was a girl. So we named her Ava. But um, that was a true story. It would have been Fibonacci and Archimedes. Now, once you put in your breakout rooms, you hit save. And then the good thing about this is it populates individual unique breakout room links. So meet links. Okay. Now, once you have that, the uh, best thing to do is go to settings. I, I learned this one. Settings. Change it to tabs because what that means, it's going to put all of the breakout rooms in one window, in one window uh, separated by tabs. Okay. So change that. You're going to go back to meet. Now, <clears throat> what you're going to do is you are going to start the class. Breakout rooms changed because you wanted four breakout rooms. Now, you could technically do five, six rooms if you wanted to, but then there might be an extra window that pops up. Here, if you keep it at four, then you'll only have one window with five tabs, which is, which is perfect. Now, there's three options. You can open just the main room, which is our Google Meets room. You can do just the breakout rooms, or you can do both. I'm going to do both. So I'm going to start class, period one, break this four breakout rooms. I'm going to click on this. So now what's going to happen is it's going to do our main lobby. And then it's going to give us the four breakout rooms. And it automatically joins for you. So your main lobby. You have the Fibonacci room, you have the Pythagoras room, you have the Pascal's room, and you got the Archimedes room. Now, how do you get your kids in those rooms? So what you're going to do is you're going to go to assign breakout rooms. Now, I haven't really been able to get it where it randomly assigns the students because for some reason they always leave students out. So I like to do the pre-assigned groups because it gives you the links already. So I'm gonna highlight my rooms and I'm gonna copy and paste, I'm gonna copy that. Then what you do is you go to the main lobby, go to the main room where the kids come in, go to chat, and then what you do is you paste it, you paste it in the chat. So now the kids know that these are the rooms, these are the links, and then when you take attendance or when you just look at your list, you can just assign them to what room. You can randomly assign it beforehand, and you just tell them as you're doing taking attendance, and go from there. Now, one other thing that I want to tell you before we before I end this video is that this little this area right here is great because what it does it it actually toggles you between rooms. So now I'm in the main lobby. <clears throat> this. This real what this is is you don't want to hear anything. You don't want to hear anything from the main lobby. Or if you de-check it, now you can hear things that are going in the main lobby, um, but they can't see you or um, they can't see you or hear you. If everything is checked off or or um, basically off, what that means is they can't hear you, they can't see you, and you can't hear them. All right. Now, you really want that in all of the breakout rooms. So if you hit the right hour, you're going to have all the breakout rooms here. You pretty much, I think it's defaults to that. And then when you go into each breakout room, you just de-check everything. Or if you don't want them to see, you can take off the video. And now you can talk to them. Now they can hear you. You can hear them. And then when you're done, you just check that off. And now you can't hear them. They can't hear you. And you can't hear what's going on in there. Then you go to the next group, and you can do the same thing. You can pop in and see how they're doing, and you can talk to them. And then when you're done, you can de-check that, and then you go to the next group. And then just keep on going, all right? Um, another good thing is broadcast to all breakout rooms. So say, now, all right, you got, say there's five minutes left to go back to the main lobby. You just click on here. They can see you. They can hear you. You can hear them. And you just say, listen, five minutes. You have five minutes. Wrap it up. Make sure you have all the answers. And we're going to reconvene back at uh, the main lobby.
and then you can just you check you just check that off where they can't hear you you can't hear them and you can't hear what's going on and then from there you can go back into the groups talk to them you can present just like you would normally present if you if say a group had a question about a particular questioning problem you could present to them you could talk to them and go from there i liked it on i like it on zoom it's pretty easy on zoom so i wanted to do it uh, in Google Meets, it took a little bit to, to understand and figure out how it works, but it's definitely worth it. Definitely worth doing. It's fun, and the kids enjoy it. All right, take it easy. My name again is Joe D'Agostino. I'll check back with you another time. Thanks. Bye.